Yes, indeed. Chosen elect family. Uh, this is the sacrifice that we have got to make in order to get the change uh, that is needed in the world. And I don't mean that Masonic uh, twisted interpretation of the word sacrifice. I'm meaning living a life that is holy and acceptable unto our Heavenly Father. And if you know this, uh, then it means that you are back on another journey to truth and life or utilize the power of truth, uh, which is the inspired word of the Holy Spirit to be set free from the chains of deception. This is going to be part two of exposing the community policing counterintelligence program as the evil hive mind new world order agenda and so if you have not seen part one i suggest you go back uh, and watch that to get a lead in i will highlight uh, some of uh, the main points that we did go over uh, in part one and by the way, this is pre-recorded. It would not be live due to, um, you know, bouts of cyber infiltration on this platform. I've been having um, lots and lots of difficulty trying to go live as of late. Uh, obviously, these agencies uh, tend to fear the content on this channel. Uh, but there's no fear in me, and hopefully there's no fear in you, because uh, the Holy Spirit don't come with fear. It comes with power, love, and wisdom. And so we're going to utilize that wisdom in order to address, yes, MTAC, addressing the issue uh, that is destroying so many, so, so many lives across America. Uh, if you don't know, uh, there is a program, a human trafficking program that is under the disguise of national security, community safety, uh, and this program, uh, Virgin, post 9-11, September 11, 2001, what happened? A significant event. I have my, um, you know, I would say my position on that particular um, circumstance that um, began to um, turn the catalyst for what we're dealing with now, which is uh, community uh, members, the civilian population being militarized through uh, private security corporations in order to destroy men, women, and children. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is a real thing that is happening. I, for one, uh, just so happened to be one of those victors. I don't look at myself as a victim when I'm still uh, when I'm still standing on my own two feet. Uh, but nonetheless, my life have been completely destroyed. I won't say completely destroyed, um, but they did do some major damage to my character and my uh, social life, and I do mean major damage in my financial life and my health as well. I've been beaten. I've been drugged. I've been poisoned. I've uh, had things happen to me that no person on earth should have happened to them. I've had family, uh, friends, co-workers, neighbors either pay, lie to, um, or intimidated into turning against me. Many who uh, have no dealings with me to this day, no real dealings anyway, family members um, that aren't even allowed to contact me. And if they do, they're not allowed to contact with me without phone supervision because they do not want this situation to be addressed. But MTAC is going to address that issue to 
day because I don't care. I don't have a spirit of fear. I have a spirit of power, Holy Spirit power, love, most high love, agape love, and wisdom, the mind of Christ. And I'm going to utilize that to help someone on this evening or any other time you may be uh, viewing this content. So in the previous um, video, uh, we discussed uh, the goal, the agenda of this nationwide system of vigilantes, uh, law, people breaking the laws, being um, coached in being lawless by uh, these systems of power uh, in government, whether it be through the CIA, FBI, NSA, DHS, etc., uh, which is human trafficking, millions of Americans across the country uh, th through these um, private security corporations, which are allotted um, millions, and I do mean millions and billions even, of dollars each fiscal year, um, and I've discussed that in previous videos, showing you why they um, use these civilian military organizations in order to carry out their biddings. Now, these private security uh, contractors or private security firms are normally composed of former law enforcement, military, uh, et cetera and people who work in uh, social uh, service agencies. Um, this is constructed along the infrastructure of the counterintelligence program. Now, I've discussed the counterintelligence program. If you, this is a new word to you, Google it and find out about the counterintelligence program, this um, a racist program which was abolished in 1978, I believe, uh, due to its racist and Nazi-like uh, uh, agenda, the spreading of lies, rumors, slander, uh, the uh, informants or civilian military operatives being used to infiltrate groups such as the NAACP, Black Panther Party, uh, Coors, Nick, uh, the uh, Native American um, freedom movement, uh, and much, much more. But uh, today, it's much more vast, much more complex than one could even imagine due to the fact that post 9-11, September 11, 2001, after they um, put the entire world in a state of fear, not in faith, but in fear. People stopped trusting in the Most High and started um, freely giving up their rights, freedoms, and constitutional protected um, liberties to feel safe. And this was a PSYOP, one of the most, the biggest PSYOP, um, and there was a buildup. You know, you hear about the Oklahoma City, Boston, so it was a buildup, you know, this constant reinforced fear on the public, you know, um, the news media being one of their um, tools, you know, through the tell eyes vision. It's telling your eyes uh, visions of lies and people uh, are afraid of uh, the crime rate going up um, and because all they show you is crime and victimization um, in, in the works, you know. Uh, this is in line with MKUltra. I've uh, studied the um, MKUltra monarch programs underneath Adolf Hitler. Uh, these Nazi agendas, however, have now developed what you call community policing. And what is the, um, you know, um, overall objective for this? This is the New World Order, you guys. And I sincerely mean that we're dealing with the new world order uh, this is the new B system 
Um, part one kind of covers a little bit of that and give you scriptural references. Uh, but uh, many of us are being human trafficked. That means uh, someone like myself, whose name on, is on the terrorist watch list, the community watch list, and the OSHA or the Occupational Safety and Health Administration um, Threat Assessment uh, list, then what happens is there's bids been made on us. People across the world, even from India and you name it, are placing bids on these um, underground uh, black web stocks. You know, sound familiar? Stocks and bonds or stock and bondage. This goes hand in hand with uh, the diaspora of the Israelites. Uh, this is a new form of slavery uh, because the gross uh, Wall Street, I would say, or the um, primary gross uh, production um, capacitor here in the U.S. was uh, the black Israelites being sold into bondage for free labor. We were the stock um, being sold on auction blocks into bondage, and this is what propelled uh, the uh, Babylonian B system states of America into the prominent uh, position of war power that it is uh, in today. These are the truths, these are the facts. Nonetheless, uh, they uh, recruit family members, uh, co workers, neighbors, they bring in strangers, etc. Anyone can take play a part in this nationwide vigilante. Masonic system of harassment and torture and slow kill, which is meant to destroy a person's life, destroy a person's character, destroy their uh, social atmosphere, destroy their dreams, their goals, um, and with the use of New Age um, surveillance technologies and millimeter wave, microwave, and radiation. Um, electromagnetic weaponry, they're able to kill off victims uh, without a trace. Many are being unconsensually tested on with uh, voice to skull technology. This is where thoughts or voices are being planted into someone's head that only that person can hear. And these technologies do exist. I have covered this uh, in a previous video and um, you can go back and watch that uh, when I'm dichotomizing a book called Spirit Tech. Uh, this is one of Silicon Valley's uh, most prideful uh, new eras. And so uh, the voice to skull technology, many people that you see on the streets, homeless, uh, talking to themselves are victims of this technology. Also cybernetic um, technology such as Neuralink, Elon Musk Neuralink. This is computer to brain interfacing and this is uh, ushering in what they would like to be the new era of pre-crime or premeditated um, criminal assessments where they basically penalize someone based on uh, the uh, artificial intelligence, cybernetic uh, data, which is illegally and uh, inhumanely gathered through quantum EEGs uh, and then assessed. Uh, but that's the more complicated portions of this. Nonetheless, um, you know, their entire goal uh, is to create uh, and uh, prison, a nationwide GPS cell phone directed prison system uh, which now contains all Americans. This is the grid, uh, this is the electronic prison that we all live in, being tracked, traced, monitored, surveilled, tortured, and harassed 24-7. Once again, uh, watch 
part one uh, for clear insight on this. Um, so who are these people? These are everyday citizens, just like you and I, I would say. Uh, you know, people who um, have been fooled by uh, the master manipulators, by the puppet masters at the top who knows what the true agenda is. Now, uh, most of them, as I previously stated, believe that they are fighting crime, they are fighting terrorism. Uh, many of the low-level perps are given strips, uh, and they're literally uh, then paid to be actors. Uh, you know, uh, you've heard of the mystery shopper. If you don't know what a mystery shopper is, I would imagine most of you uh, do. A mystery shopper is someone who comes in, bland in, but they actually are working for the company in order to um, secretly gather data or recon recontinence on the employees um, that are working there, right? So uh, that would literally be your low-level perks. Uh, above that, you would have uh, your handlers or your target ops manager. Um, these would be the people given the orders. They would be orchestrating it because they have a tactical military type background and they understand you know how to orchestrate things and 99% of the time they do have a background in psychology and accounting so they definitely have to have uh, the ability to psychologically manipulate someone so a background in uh, social science and psycho science uh, would uh, place someone in the position of handler or target ops manager, this would be like the middle guy. Above that, uh, you would actually have uh, the, you know, the, the puppet masters, the ones who are uh, CIA, FBI, um, Division or Sector 5, um, you know, behind the scenes. Um, operative. These are your psychopaths, your clinical psychopaths uh, that are able to use their above top secret or top secret clearances uh, to cover their tracks. You know what I mean? Um, and of course it's all Masonic pyramid structure just as you would imagine it to be. Uh, but a person who's a victim of this would experience organized gang stalking or being stalked by large groups of people within a community. Now, it don't have to be the same uh, group of people. Uh, oftentimes, they rotate uh, the uh, people, and this is based on availability, who's there in the proximity, uh, and who's able to get these notifications, etc. This is one reason uh, this program is referred to as stalking by proxy, P-R-O-X-Y. Now, that word proxy means access port. You know what I mean? It's a computer terminology for those of you with computer science backgrounds. So, stalking by access, and this is what the enemy does. If you're on your job, they will have someone uh, normally from InfoGuard. InfoGuard is the private sector of the FBI uh, that is... Um, position in all major corporations, Fortune 500 corporations. Um, and they have uh, their uh, double agents, so to speak. So they may, uh, as in my case, be working as a dispatcher uh, while also uh, working in conjunction with these private uh, security firms uh, in FBI uh, agencies, DHS agencies, etc. And um, so forth. But stalking by proxy, stalking by access, and maybe a family member, um, someone with uh, criminal background, etc., who's being 
not just enticed, but blackmailed into targeting family members. Someone may be getting paid or others may be getting lied to. Most of the time uh, they're lied to and told that person is under investigation. They're told that person is mentally unstable and that usually does it. You know, the moment that they say that person is suffering from, you know, some sort of mental illness, bipolar, schizophrenic, uh, whatever the case may be, that usually does it. Um, you know, and they go around and they introduce uh, false leaflets, false narratives, and bogus uh, evidence about that party, which is never examined, cross-examined by the victim. And that is your Fifth Amendment right, by the way. So these people are uh, criminals at a constitutional level. Uh, moving on, uh, this is a covert war. It is turning uh, large groups of the community and population against smaller groups. Once uh, those smaller groups are annihilated, more people are introduced uh, into uh, the annihilation pool and it is a slow kill process, a depopulation agenda whose objective or uh, hidden workings is to get rid of everyone. Uh, now, I will be trying to share a video where I believe uh, their, uh, how do I say this, uh, they won't, uh, the Georgia guys song say they want to reduce the population to under 500 uh, million people. I believe the 500 million people aren't going to be uh, the human bloodline. There, there'll be, you know, part of the RH negative, etc. cetera, uh, bloodline. And uh, this video that I'm going to be releasing will explain exactly why uh, this is the case. Because there is a group of, uh, of people on the, uh, or there's groups on the earth, so to speak, uh, that uh, is not reproducing as quickly as the um, regular human population and they have means of survival you know and so uh, moving on though sticking to the point uh, citizens and neighbors are recruited to participate often from extremist groups cults but also from among employees, coordinated psychological warfare attacks, that means they study you, uh, what makes you tick, what makes you angry, what makes you sad, um, et cetera, isolation, uh, the feeling of loneliness, uh, the use of honey traps or honey pots. These are people paid to pretend as if uh, they are in uh, romantic entrance of the targeted individual and they're there on behalf of agencies. Uh, real human trafficking, sick things happening here. Uh, consistent, consistent stalking. Uh, an example of this would be, uh, I left my home last night uh, to make a run to the store. This was after 11 p.m. Uh, as soon as I left, I was trapped. Now, I live in the country out in Calhoun, Louisiana, and I had to drive to West Monroe to get to a store. Uh, which is about five miles from where I'm at, right? So um, five miles of country road, no one's out here at 11, 12 o'clock in the morning, but uh, as soon as I pull out of my yard, everyone uh, pulls out, follow me. There I get followed into the CVS and get followed into um, the Walmart, etc. the usual. And if you're a targeted individual, you know what I'm talking about. Noise campaigns. This is uh, specifically designed to keep you agitated and induce sleep deprivation because they don't want you on your mental P's and Q's. Uh, the lack of sleep reduces someone's cognitive um, abilities, your ability to uh, be able to think rationally and, and function and respond coherently is damaged uh, through sleep deprivation, which is induced by these noise campaigns. This would 
uh, include the constant ribbon of engines, uh, neighbors being paid to um, have loud conversations, banging on walls, uh, uh, horns being blown, uh, planes flying over your vicinity constantly. Uh, and this is to induce sleep deprivation. These studies of uh, sleep deprivation started in the Nazi German camps. Like I said, this is the American Holocaust, and the primary target is the so-called black man and black woman, black boy, black girl, black baby, which is the Israelite community. These are facts. You go look it up. I'm not saying anything that the science or the statistics are not saying. Uh, and it's been like that since the beginning, you, you, you guys. Um, so it, it's no surprise, and I'm not playing the race card. This is for everybody. If you're white, if you're Mexican, if you're Asian, and you're here and you're a victim, hey, my sympathy and support is with you 150%. If you love the Most High, if you serve Christ, you're my brother, you're my sister, and that's just what that is. Um, but the re realization is there is a group of people that is specifically being targeted, and that's the bloodline of Jacob, uh, as mentioned in Scripture, and that's the so-called Afro-American man and woman. Uh, sensitizing and the spreading of lies and rumors. Now, sensitizing would be uh, where they introduce something into your atmosphere, whether it's a noise such as a cough that's persistent and uh, you begin to uh, your brain began to associate these cough noises with whatever harassment that comes with it. It could be uh, brighting, uh, such as, you know, you're driving and they turn on their bright lights and they flash you and this becomes a, um, you know, uh, harassment too that you're sensitized to. It could be people paid to wear certain colors, whether it be red, green, blue, uh, pink, purple, whatever it is, you become sensitized with that particular um, agent and the harassment. So much so that even if the harassment is not there, uh, as long as the uh, sensitizing um, tool is presented, you will still feel the anxiety, the worry, uh, etc. Spreading of lies and rumors. Uh, this is how they uh, turn people against you. You know what I mean? Uh, I've been lied on. I've, they've told everyone I was a criminal. I have no criminal background. Uh, they told people that I was a pedophile. Uh, I'm a father. Can't even, um, you know, believe that people would even fall for that. But. They actually fail for it so much so that if I uh, would go outside in some of my older communities, uh, single mothers would run outside, grab their kids, and take off running. You know, it took me a minute to grasp uh, what was the, you know, reason for this. But uh, that, uh, you can only imagine how that hurts someone. You know what I mean? How that hurts someone who's, uh, you know, never thought about hurting a child or uh, victimizing or uh, violating a child or an adult in any sort of way, you know. Uh, but these are the sorts of uh, things that they spread about uh, their target in order to uh, create friction for them uh, in their communities, workplaces, school, churches, mosques, etc. No different than what they um, used to do with the Muslims um, post 9/11, right? And I'm not Muslim. I'm Israel. Uh, I'm non-religious. I my nationality is Israelite, and I do believe in the, uh, un, you know, the word of truth, the Most High's word of truth, including the Apocrypha. Uh, but they did the exact same thing uh, to the um, Arabics post 9-11, so much so that many of them started losing their jobs, that he could not live into communities. Now that energy has been redirected. The Muslims are living good and are at peace. 
I don't know what kind of agreement they've made with the system, and we are now the new targets. We're now the new terrorists, right? The face of what a terrorist looked like has changed over the past two decades. Uh, if you ask someone uh, just after 9-11 what a terrorist looked like, what they talk like, what they dress like, uh, you would probably get someone, um, you know, uh, that looked like they just got off the back of a camel and this is no uh, racist, uh, you know, uh, phrase here. I don't mean it in any bad way, so if you're Arabic and you're watching this, I don't mean it in any negative way. I'm open. Uh, it just comes across for what it is, and that's true. Uh, so we uh, first was sensitized to see um, terrorism and threats in that capacity, and then it shifted. Now what do they look like? They look like you and I. And remember, uh, they had set the foundation prior to 9-11 in the 90s uh, with the war on um, crime, the war on drugs, as the face looking like the black man, the black woman, right? And they put out all these gangster movies, um, these drug uh, movies, these rap videos, gangster rap videos in the 90s in order to demonize uh, the image of the so-called Afro-American black man and black woman. Uh, Post 9-11, uh, the uh, Hollyweird mind control machine shifted and uh, they began to put out movies that uh, began to demonize the um, Arabic people. Now, if you watch today's movie, uh, Holly Weird mind control machine have shifted in its everyday citizens. You know, it's the innocent um, old lady who's being demonized and vic, uh, victimized, uh, you know, in these movies. It's the everyday person going to the gym, et cetera. You really can't put a face on it. It's pe normal people trying to mind their own business, people who think differently, who people who don't accept the mainstream objectives and agenda and mind control, people who don't take, you know, jabs, because they consider what goes into their body before uh, they introduce it to their body. People who um, do their own research and draw their own conclusions outside of mainstream media. Uh, I believe we're at 34 minutes, so we're going to wrap this up and come out for part four. Um, but they do use people from all backgrounds and locations to harass um, track, trace, monitor 24-7, uh, and sometimes use um, organized lethal vehicle accidents. Now, um, you guys, I, as a commercial driver, they've used that particular tactic a lot with me, having cars jump in front of me and slam on their brakes until, you know, I got fed up with it. So, uh, and once I got fed up with it, they knew uh, that I was fed up with it, and I wasn't uh, going to do a evasive driving maneuver that would cause harm on myself or any other innocent um, parties on the road just because one idiot was paid to jump in front of my 18-wheeler and slam the brakes. Poisoning, electronic harassment, home invasions, uh, and that happens so much. Usually when they invade your home, they place little monitors, microwave weapons. Uh, they poison your food, drug your food. This is why we should stick to uh, food that is canned and make sure we have some sort of way to um, ensure that our food is untampered with, um, such as a, a they have bags that uh, can be sealed, and once that seal is broken or tampered with in any sort of way, uh, there's a uh, color strip. And this is a cheap investment for targeted individuals 
to be able to avoid being poisoned and drugged, which I have. Like I've said, uh, these government agencies have drugged me, so much so to the point where on uh, multiple occasions I've gone to sleep in one place and woke up in some completely different location. And I am one who don't use drugs, don't do alcohol. And you can go back to uh, my childhood, my teenage years, and do your research. People tell you I just, I never was into that. And as an adult, uh, being drugged by these rogue demon community policing um, agencies uh, is just unspeakable. I don't have the words to describe how that makes someone feel uh, experiencing that all to create the illusion that I'm a bad person or I'm crazy uh, and we'll pick up in the next video in the part three and continue to talk about this harassment try to break down some of the electronic harassments um, the false diagnosis the mixed diagnosing of brilliant people as paranoid, delusional, or schizophrenic, etc. Um, till next time, you know, to stay woke, and if you're not woke, wake up so you too can be blessed, but your boy MTAC has got to keep this video short, so I got to be hit up.